the movie discussed in this video will be the film that shifted the Western genre. So much that it was in favor of us Mexicans. But wait, how can an American Western be a good film to watch for Mexicans if Mexicans are typically the bad guys? Since the beginning of Western films, it was typically Native Americans and Mexicans that were the antagonists of these films. With films such as Tony the Greaser, The Bad Man, The Treasure of Sierra Madre, Ride Vaquero, and the list goes on. All that being said, it was until one movie that decided to change the perspective. A landmark in Western cinema. If you haven't watched this film yet, I highly recommend you watch it as this video contains spoilers. Unless you don't care, let's continue. For those that aren't familiar with Gregorio Cortez, he was a Mexican-American farmer who had an altercation with the sheriff, causing Gregorio Cortez to kill that sheriff. This causes a massive manhunt in which Gregorio later gets tried in court and is sentenced. Throughout the film, you have the perspective of Gregorio Cortez of possibly being the bad guy based on the storytelling and how it was shot. For example, you can see Gregorio Cortez's brother laughing when being asked a question. No cambiamos un caballo, era una yegua. Pero hace dos días. And the other, when it looks as if Gregorio came out aggressive and attacked first. It was even cut right before the shots were fired, almost as if Gregorio was the one that shot first. Based on the perspective of classic American Westerns, one has the initial thought of this actually being true. But as the film goes on, we start to see how the events actually happened. In the beginning of the film, we get told the story of how the sheriff perceived of how the event came to be. In this clip, you'll see how far off the sheriff was from what he understood. And I'll even translate it so you see for yourselves. No nos puede arrestar por nada, no hemos hecho nada. No? Says no man can arrest him. In what language did Gregorio Cortez say no man can arrest him? By the end of the film, we see what truly happened and how the sheriff altered what actually happened. From Gregorio's perspective, we see from his facial expressions that he is a bit worried and curious as to why a sheriff came to see him. And we also know Gregorio Cortez was telling the truth by saying he did not trade un caballo, but una yegua. No estamos mintiendo. No cambiamos un caballo. Era una yegua. Which is a female horse. This was the moment that the sheriff misunderstood because the sheriff thought Gregorio Cortez was not going to speak about trading a male horse. So what makes this film one of the best Western films? For one, it shifts the whole genre of American Westerns making the Mexican the hero of this film. The shot where it's the big chase and it rapidly cuts between the coal going to the fire and the horse speeding, you can tell Gregorio is the hero as Gregorio was able to escape. For another, hear one of the most famous quotes in a Western film in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. This is the West, sir. When the legend becomes fact, print the legend. He's right, Ranch. In short, this means that the stories of the Wild West are best considered to be stories and not factually examined. The Ballad of Gregorio Cortez is the complete opposite and it shows you how it actually happened. If you're a Latino that wants to tell stories, whether it be through movies, music, art, or any other medium, this movie should be an inspiration for your storytelling. Be willing to shift the genre, the medium, the art form, and change people's perspective through your truest and purest expression of yourselves and your culture. Don't be afraid. Embrace it.